Welcome to the onboarding guide for Rolex EV charge points on the Monta Basic Plan. Before following the steps in this video, make sure that your installer has configured the charge point for use with Monta within the Rolex EV Connect app. If you haven't already downloaded the Monta app, scan the QR code on screen or in the charge point manual, or search for it on the App Store or Google Play. Open the Monta app and tap the charges icon shown at the bottom of the screen. The following steps will be slightly different depending on whether the charger you are onboarding is for a home or small business. If you are onboarding a home charger, make sure charge points is selected at the top of the screen and tap add a charge point. If you are onboarding a charger for a small business, you will need to add it to a team. Select teams at the top of the charges screen and tap join or create a team. To create a new team, select create a team from the pop-up menu and enter a team name and contact email address on the following screen, making sure to turn on the this is for a company toggle before tapping next. Enter the company address and financial details and tap next again to move on to the team settings screen. Here, you can set the default charging price for team members and toggle on or off the ability to auto accept requests to join the team from anyone using the team's unique join code. You can always change these settings later, as well as create additional price groups in the team settings later if required. Tap done create team to finalize the creation of the team and access the team management screen. Scroll down and tap the add charge point button to begin onboarding your charger. If you have a dual charger you will need to add each connector individually. Open the drop down menu and choose Rolex from the list. On the Choose Model drop-down menu, select your charge point model from the list. If your charge point's maximum charging output is different to the default setting, tap Change under Charge Point Effect and enter the correct value. Make sure the correct connector type is selected and tap Continue. Enter a name for the charge point and input its location. You can add a custom location if it doesn't appear in the list. Tap Continue to move on to the Charging Settings screen. Use the toggles to select whether the charge point can be used within peak hours and whether to enable smart charge and auto start settings. You can always change these later if required. Tap the add charge point button. Select connect now. Then, on the following screen, tap OCPP. Enter the prefix Rolex underscore, followed by the charge point serial number. The serial number can be found on the silver product label or as the ID number on the small QR code label on the back of the setup guide tag. It is essential when entering the serial number that it is prefixed with Rolex underscore, or the Monta app will be unable to connect with the charge point. If your charge point has multiple connectors, select the relevant connector position before pressing continue. You may be shown a reminder that the charge point needs to be added to Monta using a specific OCPP URL. This should have already been configured by your installer in the Rolex EV Connect app, so the message can be ignored. Make sure the charge point information is correct and tap the Yes Pair Charge Point button. The Monta app will now attempt to pair with the charge point. If this has been successful, you will receive a validation successful message and you can tap the Close Integrations Flow button to finish the process. If the charge point has more than one connector, repeat the process again to add each connector to the Monta app individually. The charge point is now available for use. From this point you can use the Monta app to charge a vehicle or set up schedules for charging. If you require further support, open the Me tab then scroll down and select support to access a wide range of resources in the Monta Help Center or ask a question using the chat with support feature.